I'm so annoyed guys, I can't believe it. So we've got one week left um, to our departure and uh, and we've got a problem. It's like for God's sake, what else, you know? Um, so we decided to come here um, to Quimborough Creek uh, yesterday to the scrubbing dock um, to clean the boat. Um, so it's nice and smooth and it's the water went out and uh, the problem appeared. So uh, we've got rope stuck around uh, our propeller prop, prop shaft and um, that doesn't look like just the rope. Uh, looks like the cutlass bearing come out or something. So yeah, Liz got another job to do and hopefully it's, it's, it's a quick one. People. Okay, so the problem is this. Let me show you. Look at this. This is your fender. We had a rope. Get wrapped around our prop. And it looks like it's attached itself to the cutlass bearing. It's probably caught onto the cutlass bearing a little bit. And it's pulled some of it out. And the amazing thing is, is the heat generated has actually melted the plastic and the rubber on the cutlass bearing. Okay, let's have a look. So, there you go. See the cutlass bearing here? There's the rope. It's actually melted, stuck. There's plastic there. Yeah, that's the cutlass bearing, looks like. I would have thought so. It's been pulled out that way, where the rope's attached itself to it, and it's uh, actually melted it. Okay. So we're going to have to cut all this off. Cut the cutlass bearing out as well, across here somewhere, and go from there. Okay. So. Is it a big job, you think? It can be a big job. Okay. It's turning all right. And uh, we'll see, once we get all this off, we've... Uh, yeah. We'll yeah, because the thing is, oh my God, birds, excuse me. Shish. No we are filming here. Go away. So it's a bit of a surprise to us, really, because there was no signs of it whatsoever. Okay. Well, have fun removing it anyway. Yeah, I'll go through here. Okay. Oh, is that nice? DJ. He was sightseeing Quimboro earlier on. Disappeared for a few hours, then come back to us to check we're still here. And now he's sunbathing. PJ! Oh, look at you! Oh, PJ! <laughs> Is it bad? No. Oh, good. It's better than we thought. Okay, let me come this side. It's a bit dark on this side. What is it? Is it cutlass bearing? No. Oh! It's just where the rope is melted. No way! Yeah. That's the melted rope? Yeah, it's gone smooth because of the heat. Cutlass bearing. It's all good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's a relief. There's no... no. Yeah, no play whatsoever. No. Hold on, I'll try this side. Do it again. Yeah, nothing. No, so that is just where the rope is melted. That's crazy. Yeah. How can rope melt like this in the water? Yes, yeah, it's created a lot of heat. Scored the rope, the shaft up a oh, bit. Oh yeah. That's me cutting, but at least we now we can get the anode on. Yeah. So, are, you go, are you gonna do that today? Yeah, do it now. 
Good. Oh, that's a relief. Yep. Good. See? Ah, panic over. <laughs> Discarded ropes. Just going to put this anode on. We arrived a bit late last year, so we never had a chance to put it on. But now, we'll put it on. It's an extra anode. One on to hold it for now. Some Loctite down the thread on the anode itself. I can get the money up. There you go. That's it. To this side, anyway. On the other side. And what's that gonna do? It's just gonna stop it. I'm winding. Oh. I've got the thread up. Put a bit more on it in a minute. Using what is it? Loctite two for two. <laughs> we'll see if that stays on. That'd be interesting. Quite a lot of muscles, actually. Have you noticed? Yeah, lots of dead ones in here as well. And it's probably birds eating them, isn't it? They're opened. Yeah, lots of them open one. Yeah. You can see the tide is coming back now. But I reckon we still got at least an hour and a half here of work time before the water starts coming up here. We should be done by then, that's for sure. All done. Okay, good. Let's just finish off the cleaning.